one of the things I really admire about what, how, what you're doing on TikTok and how you're sharing stuff, I, I feel you're sharing stuff you're passionate about and you're interested in and that that actually attracts an audience of, I, I, may, I, mean, I don't want to maybe sound offensive. It's not going to attract as big an audience if you're maybe like dancing or doing ridiculous stunts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like a big like, Hey, let's learn about literacy TikTok. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I fell on literacy TikTok today, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that that to me is I, I feel like you still get like thousands of likes on stuff that you're sharing, which I, you know, is to me, I, I think we kind of take this for granted. Like I grew up in a town of five thousand people total, right? And it's not like I could and just think that people get like hundreds of thousands of views and likes on stuff. I'm like, that's yeah. like, you know, my, I grew up in a town of 5,000 people. And so one of the things that I think is really important to me is how do we actually help our students create stuff they're passionate about and that mm -hmm. is true to them, not create stuff that they think other people want to see. And it actually takes away from who they are. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it's really easy to kind of get caught up in like, oh, here's the fad. Let's jump into it because I know this will get me likes, mm -hmm. right? So this won't get me a bunch as many likes, but this is something that I'm passionate about, right? Like I talk about, I talk a lot about the same things I talked about years ago because I'm really passionate about this stuff, right? I'm not trying to like trend chase. So how do you, how do you deal with that? Yeah. I, when I make my TikToks, I, you know, it would be really easy, I think, to use the music or do the same right. trend or whatever. And I've really tried to stay away from that because I feel like it takes away from what I'm trying to say. And I'm just trying to be of use to teachers. And if they're like me, they don't have time for like deciphering what the music is or watching the cute little, you know, whatever they're like, tell me, like, tell me what it is. And so um, I think that that is just being really confident in who you are. And that's where it comes back for the kids is we have to make sure that they actually believe the things that they're saying that, that, that they put out there, you know, and that's one of the things that we try to talk about with, you know, in their writing or when they post stuff or whatever, but do you actually believe that? Like, would you, if someone came for you in the comments, you know, would it make you all of, like upset or, you know, would you be able to sit there and have a conversation right. with them because you're secure in your position? And so I think that's kind of what I've just tried to stick to is, is what I'm doing of value, you know, like, do I, you know, like, am I open to ideas about this? What is the worst thing that a person could possibly say? And then, you know, to me, that might be helpful. It might be something that like, I didn't think about, right. Or they could be right. Like we could both be right at the same time and not agree. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure a hundred percent how we teach that specifically, well, but I, I think, do think, I think you modeling is the best start. Yeah. And just being like, this is what I'm, you know, who I am, this is what I'm confident in. And I would love to sit and talk to you about it some more. And if you're posting that kind of stuff, I think you'll find an audience because people want to hear the truth, right? I mean, some of my best videos, I guess, were days when I just like popped it open right. and I was like, here's what I want to talk about right now because this is what's really happening. And people responded to that. I mean, there was one where I was completely overwhelmed with my classroom being built. I don't know if you got to see that one. Oh. And people were like offering to drive into town to help me because they were like, this is, this is real. So